Hey everybody. Thanks for stopping by Old Smoking Steve's. Haven't been on here in a while. Haven't had a whole lot of time. Uh, uh, it's hard to come up with something new to cook all the time. So I uh, haven't been on here on a regular basis, but we're gonna get back into it. I'm gonna be smoking up some baby back ribs tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna get it prepped up uh, tonight, the night before. And uh, we're gonna show you how how we're gonna do it. Uh, now there's a lot of different ways to uh, uh, do your ribs, uh, two, two, one, three, two, one, uh, or some variation of that, uh, where the first number would be the, uh, hours that you smoke it uncovered. Then the second number would be, uh, where you wrap it up and, uh, and then the unwrap it and then put the, uh, glaze on there, the barbecue sauce and let it sit in there. But we're going to do it a little bit different this time and uh, we're gonna show you what we're gonna do. So let's get this thing all prepped. Here's what we're looking at. Uh, we've got two racks of ribs here, baby back ribs, and they've been in the freezer. So uh, first of all, you gotta get her out of that plastic. So let's get started. Here we have it. I got, got them out of the plastic and uh, you may have noticed I switched trays. This tray here is a little bit longer than the last one. And uh, there's a membrane on the back of these ribs that we're gonna try to get off of there. And I'm gonna use the uh, handle on the spoon to try to get that off. You can use a, uh, a knife, a spoon, just whatever you have sitting around, whatever works for you. So we're gonna try to get that uh, underneath that skin there and get it started. And get that pulled off a little bit. That's trying to rip on me. But once you get it started, you can take a paper towel and uh, go ahead and finish pulling on it with your uh, paper towel. Okay, we got a good little start there. So just grab that and that peels right off just like that. Now you don't have to take this off, but uh, most people do. Uh, that way you can get it your rub or whatever seasoning you're going to use and get that put all the way around the meat. So we're going to go ahead and get this other one done and uh, then we'll get our rub put on there. We'll go ahead and just get this one started here. Okay, we got part of it coming off. Let's go ahead and get this other part. Okay, now we got a good start. Go ahead and grab that, get him pulled off. Then we're ready to get our seasoning on there. Here's the seasoning we're using today. Home brewed. Guys, this is a great rub. I use it on uh, uh, pork shoulder, pork butt to make, uh, make uh, pulled pork. And uh, it's a six time world championship rub uh, used by Chris Lilly. Uh, I believe I got his name right. But uh, anyway, this is a great rub and I'll share the ingredients with you uh, a little later on in the video. But first of all, let's go ahead and get these guys coated up. Okay, before we start putting that seasoning on there, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a thin coat of this uh, yellow mustard on there. That'll serve as a binder and also uh, helps give it great flavor. And you don't really notice a, a mustard flavor when you have this on there. You won't notice it being on there at all. So we're just kind of going to lather him up here a little bit. Get a rub on there. Ribs really makes for some uh, great eating. Let's go ahead and sprinkle some rub on. We're gonna get this side a good coat, and then we're gonna flip them over and do the other side. Go ahead and 
brush that out a little bit so we can't distribute that a little evenly, a little more evenly. I want to try to get some on the edges everywhere you can. It's smelling good. It's really smelling good. I wish you could smell it. So let's get these guys flipped over. Get our mustard on there. Get all spread out. Now you don't have to use this mustard. Uh, you can put it on there without it. You can use olive oil, just whatever you want. You can use mayonnaise if you want. I like to use mustard. I like uh, the flavor, the little extra added flavor that it gives. Okay, let's go ahead and dump this on and off the spoon. Looking good, guys. Looking good. You're gonna love this rub if you if you make it. It's good stuff. Let's kind of spread this around. Pat it in a little bit as we go. Looking good, looking good, smelling good. We're going to be in for some good eating tomorrow. What I'm going to do is get these wrapped up, get a little cellophane uh, wrapped over the top of these and get them in the fridge and let them sit in there overnight. Then we're going to get that uh, Rick Tech fired up and get to smoking tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and get this wrapped up, get it in the fridge. And we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, here it is the next day. December 3rd, Venice, Florida. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but yesterday it was 80, 81. I'm sure it's going to be the same today. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. We got these ribs pulled out of the fridge, and we're going to get them thrown on that Rectech smoker. Uh, today we're going to be using the uh, Rectech uh, Bull, the 700, uh, to get these guys smoked up. And we're gonna be using uh, Bear Mountain Bold Pellets. I just love these Bear Mountain Pellets, guys. Uh, they got a lot of different flavors, probably uh, 15 to 20 different flavors. But uh, I like the Gourmet Blend. Uh, uh, I like a lot of them, but uh, I tend to go to the Bold flavor. Uh, that gives me a little bit of more smoky flavor in, in the meat and stuff. And uh, it's really good on jerky. But uh, I got these pulled out. Let's take a look at them, and uh, we're going to get the, the smoker fired up. Okay, here they are. They're still wrapped up in the uh, cellophane. Let's get that pulled back, see how they look. They're looking pretty good. Pretty yummy. Oh, yeah. It's smelling good. Really smelling good. So let's go out there and get that smoker fired up and uh, we'll show you how easy that is to do. I just love these pellet grills. Okay, here's our weapon of the day, the Rectech 700 Bull. Uh, back here in the hopper, we got the uh, Bear Mountain pellets. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy fired up. We'll get him powered up here. And uh, I did have it on low. Uh, last cook was uh, made some jerky. So we're gonna crank that up. We could go to 225, but uh, let's go uh, 250. Let's smoke these guys at 250. So we're gonna let this get heated up and uh, then we'll be getting them ribs on. This uh, Rec Tech here is a little bit wet. A little bit of moisture in the air today. It's uh, kind of foggy. We can take a look around here. I don't know whether you can tell it or not, but 
kind of foggy out today. I left a little bit of water on the grill. And uh, this Rectech sets out uh, 24-7, 365 days a year. And it's holding up good, guys. Really looking good. As you can see, it's starting to heat up there. So uh, we're going to let it get up to 250, and then we'll be putting those ribs on. Okay, guys, this thing's been heating up for about 15 minutes. And the temperature is 245. So we're going to go ahead and get these ribs thrown on here. I got them sitting right here. There they are. Looking nice and pretty. So let's get this lid closed and let them smoke. The guys, like I said, uh, there's a lot of different ways to get these ribs uh, cooked up or smoked up. And uh, we're just going to do it a little bit different today. I try to mix things up a little bit here and make things a little bit different. Uh, and you can pick your own method. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. But today we're cooking at 250 and uh, we're just gonna let her cook straight through and uh, we're gonna be spritzing it with some apple juice along the way. And that's wait, just wait and see how it turns out at the end. Uh, I think it's really gonna be good. Okay, these have been on here about 30 minutes and we're gonna try to spritz these every 30 or 40 minutes or so. <laughs> Okay, they're not looking too much different, but uh, we did sneak in a couple of baked potatoes when they weren't looking. So uh, let's go ahead and get these guys sprayed. The spray is going to help keep them juicy and uh, help form that bark or beet candy on the outside. Get that closed and let those smoke for another half hour and spray them again. These have been on here smoking for about three hours. So let's go check on them, see what they look like. As you can see, a lot of that fog, uh, well, all the fog is cleared off. And it's about 11.30 and it's 81 degrees here in Venice, Florida. So let's take a peek and see what they look like. Oh, wow. Those are really looking good. Starting to get that uh, bark on there or beet candy as I like to call it. They're really looking good. So let's go ahead and give them another uh, spritz and uh, let them smoke some more. Okay, we got it closed up here and I did uh, check the temperature, the internal temperature of the ribs and it was about uh, 185. So we're getting real close and it's uh, starting to uh, probe real tender. Okay, these guys have been smoking for about three and a half hours now. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. Smelling good. I kind of expect them to pull away from the ball a little more than they have, but uh, they haven't. And uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and put a little uh, barbecue sauce on one of them and give it a little glaze. Uh, normally I don't like to put the barbecue sauce on them, but I thought I'd go ahead and do one of them with the barbecue sauce uh, as a glaze and uh, kind of cook in there and just leave the other one alone and see which one we like better. Uh, I normally like to uh, just add the barbecue sauce on if it's needed. Uh, normally it's not needed with all this uh, uh, good uh, rub on there and all, all that. so. Uh, We'll just see how it comes out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, barbecue sauce on the one here. I'm not gonna put a lot, 
just a nice, uh, just enough to give it a little glaze. Another one, we'll just leave it as it is, and uh, if need be, we can always add the barbecue sauce on as we're eating our uh, lunch. We'll put a glaze on this one, check them both out, see which one comes out the best. Okay, guys, four hours. goodness that's really looking good here's my barbecue sauce on they're both looking good temperature uh, internal temperature I probed them and uh, about 195 uh, 198 and uh, they both probed real tender so uh, only one thing left let's get them inside oh baby I got these babies back pulled inside here. They've been on that smoker for about four hours, smoking away. These things are really smelling good. I wish you could smell them. Guys, uh, just to recap a little bit, uh, we had that smoker set at 250, uh, smoked for uh, four hours. Uh, temperature got up to about uh, 198, and uh, we put a glaze, barbecue glaze, on one of them after three and a half hours and let that cook in. Pulled it at four hours. Uh, just to get a comparison taste between the one with the barbecue sauce and one without. Now the barbecue sauce, uh, uh, use your favorite sauce, whatever you want. Uh, personally, uh, like I said earlier, uh, I prefer not using the sauce if I can, because uh, I love the taste of that rub and all that stuff and the barbecue sauce kind of hides that. But uh, we're gonna do a comparison uh, taste test here on both of them and see which one we'd like the best. Here they are, look at these beauties. This first one here, closest one, is the one with the glaze on it, the barbecue sauce. The one back here has no sauce. Only one thing left. That's right, the taste test. Okay guys, <laughs> this is my favorite part. Got me a little piece right here. Well, this is the one that doesn't have the barbecue sauce on it. And that's really looking good, smelling good. We're going in. Mm. Really good. Mm -mm -mm. Nice and juicy. Mm. Tender. That uh, rub, that flavor from that rub is coming through. It's really good. Nice and tasty. Now let's try the one with the barbecue sauce. Right here. Looking good. We're going in. Mmm. 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 That is so juicy. Guys, to be honest with you, they're both super good. Uh, I don't know. I, I like them both. Uh, the wife checked them both out too, and uh, she didn't have a preference uh, on either one. So they're both excellent, excellent. Uh, that barbecue sauce uh, maybe added a little bit of heat to it, which I kind of like. Uh, it's really good. Guys, these ribs are good. And I did cook them at two tw or 250. Uh, a lot of times I'll cook them at 225. But this time I went at 250. Uh, you know, it's your choice. At 225, uh, it's gonna take a little longer to cook. And the longer they cook, I think uh, they tend to dry out a little more. 
So I like to go 250. Uh, they get done quicker, and I think they're a little bit more moist. Uh, now you don't have to use this method. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to wrap them and all go through all that. These are good. So guys, give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. Hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.